हेलो गाइस दिस इज रेवंस फ्रॉम डीजी इंटीग्रेटिव वेलकम टू टेक न्यूज एपिसोड 20 मैप माय इंडिया रिलीज्ड अ न्यू फीचर दैट अलाउज यूजर्स टू फाइंड नियर बाय वैक्सीन सेंटर्स इन इंडिया इट इंटीग्रेटेड डेटा फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडियास ऑफिशियल वैक्सीनेशन रजिस्ट्रेशन वेबसाइट कोविन टू डिलीवर दिस यूजफुल सर्च फंक्शनलिटी दिस मैप माय इंडिया फंक्शनलिटी इज आल्सो अवेलेबल थ्रू द सेम कोविन वेबसाइट कैन बी यूज्ड व्हेन रजिस्टरिंग फॉर द वैक्सीन Users can download the Move app or visit maps. dot maps my india. dot com to search a coronavirus vaccination center near them. India's Reliance Industries has partnered with Facebook, Google, and Finch player Infibeam to set up a national digital payment network. According to the study, in 2023, digital payments in India could rise to 135.2 billion, that is roughly around 9 lakhs 94 thousand crores. Google and Facebook are already partnered with Reliance and own stakes in Jio platform the unit which houses Reliance music movie apps and telecom venture Indian digital payments platform Paytm has clocked more than 1.2 billion monthly transaction and say that every month they are seeing around 15 percentage of growth and this records the most number of transaction among all digital payments platform Paytm says that the massive growth comes from because of the spike in offline payments and financial services. Paytm is competing with PhonePay, Google Pay, Mobiquick and Amazon in the digital payment space in India. Paytm has more than 150 million monthly active users and Paytm also has more than 505 merchant partners on board. Samsung Galaxy launches a new smartphone Samsung Galaxy M12. It is going to launch in India on March 11th. It is coming up with quad rear camera and 6000 mAh battery and it also has around 90 hertz display with water drop notch style for the selfie camera. The price for this mobile will be under 12000 rupees in India. It might come in three different colors. There's were attractive black, elegant blue and trendy emerald green color. Tiger Global is in talks to lead a 100 million funding round in online investment platform group. Valuing the 5 year old company around 1 billion dollars, Tiger Global will bring in around 50 million dollars with the remaining coming from existing investors. An Indian trade group representing 150,000 mobile phone stores on India urged Prime Minister Narendra Modi to investigate Amazon's business practices in the country and impose a daily cap on a single seller's online smartphone sales. All India Mobile Retailers Association urged the government to suspend all Amazon activities in India until there is an investigation into the company's practices. Oppo is preparing for the launch of several new devices in its A series including Oppo A94, A54, A34 and A74. Out of these A74 has already started gaining several certifications. OnePlus 9 series is announced to launch on March 8. OnePlus 9 series is expected to come on three different smartphones OnePlus 9, OnePlus 9R and OnePlus 9 Pro. A dedicated web page has set up a company's India's website with the title Moonshot. This mysterious page doesn't reveal much. Expect notifying that OnePlus is expect to announce something new on March. OnePlus CEO Pete Lu confirmed that OnePlus Watch will be launched sometime earlier this year and rumors mill suggest that the wearable could debut along with the three new phones in March. Again from Realme, Realme 9 Pro specifications have been leaked. This phone is to come with MediaTek Dimensity 1200 SoC. It will also have 90 Hz refresh rate. And we also expect a bunch of releases right around this corner. The company is on track to launch new Realme GT this week. Let's see how many phones are going to bring this year. Apple has a big lineup of devices ready to get launched this year among them it is believed that the company will launch the iPad Pro 2021 this month the upcoming Apple iPad Pro 2021 is expected to be powered by Apple A14 chipset which is powers the company's new iPhone 12 series Starlink the Elon Musk backed SpaceX satellite based internet service is now available for pre orders in India for $99 which is around rupees 7000 for a month The service is expected to be made available in India by 2022. As per the Starlink, user can expect to see data speeds vary from 50 Mbps to 150 Mbps and the latency from 20 microseconds to 40 microseconds in most of the location over the next several months as the company enhances the Starlink system. TCL has made an announcement that it will be launching the first Android TV in India to be powered by Android 11 along with the new series of health smart ACs. The launch is to take place on 10th of March at 11 a.m. and will be live streamed online. 
China cyber attack on India could have led the Mumbai power outage last year. Cyber security company Recorded Future notified that Indian government about China linked threat activity group Red Echo, which may have been responsible for Mumbai power outage. This power outage has been occurred on October 12, 2020. Michael Kors Access Gen 5e Darcy smartwatch can now be purchased in India. This company is known for its luxurious watches. This wearable is powered by Google Wear OS and offers health as well as wellness related tracking. An inbuilt speaker for Bluetooth enabled calling and other features as well. Michael Kors Access Gen 5e Darcy smartwatch is priced at Rs 25,999 and it is now available via Amazon and customers have an option to choose from three colors gold rose gold and silver and rose gold thanks for watching this video please kindly support my channel by giving a like share and subscribe and follow digi integrity on twitter instagram and facebook